There are lots of how-to videos on determining the speed of light using a microwave oven and various edible foods like chocolate and other things that melt. Here is a variation on that experiment using old purchase receipts. Most receipts these days are printed on heat sensitive thermal paper. Gather a bunch of them and test them in a microwave to see if they are sensitive to microwave wavelengths. A 30 to 45 second exposure should tell you which ones are the most sensitive. Select several of the most sensitive type and scotch tape them together side by side in two or three places so that they cover an area slightly larger than an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. Place them on a piece of cardboard or other non-heat sensitive support. Open the microwave and remove the rotation assembly. It is important that the paper does not turn during this experiment. Place a microwave safe bowl upside down over the rotation hub and place the cardboard with the taped receipts on top of the bowl. Exposure time will depend on the power of your microwave oven and the sensitivity of your receipts. Expose them in 15 second bursts and check to see if any dark spots are forming. You don't want them to become too big. Do not move the receipts between bursts of microwaves. When you see dark spots no bigger than about an inch in diameter, remove them from the microwave oven. Outline the perimeter of each spot to make it easier to locate the center. And mark the center with a line or a dot. Measure the distance between the centers of the spots using a metric ruler. In this example, it's about 6.35 centimeters. Because of the positions of nodes and antinodes of the microwaves, the distance between these two spots represents only one half of a wavelength. So we're going to have to multiply times two to get the full wavelength. And in this case, it's going to be 12.7 centimeters. The value for the speed of light is given in meters per second. So we're going to have to convert the centimeters to meters by dividing by 100. So that 12.7 centimeters becomes 0.127 meters. The equation for the speed of light C is equal to the wavelength in meters represented by the Greek letter lambda, which we've already determined to be 0.127 meters, times the frequency of the waves in hertz represented by the symbol nu, which we have yet to determine. Fortunately, that's easy to find out by looking at one of the labels on the inside of your microwave oven. In this case, it is 2450 megahertz. To convert megahertz to hertz, we must multiply by 1 million, giving us a value of 2.45 times 10 to the 9th hertz. Sometimes the label on the microwave gives the frequency in gigahertz, in which case you would have to multiply by 1 billion. All that is left is to multiply our calculated wavelength times the frequency on the label on the microwave oven. And in this case, we get a value of 3.1115 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. The working value for the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. So this has about a 3.7% error. That's pretty good. Give it a try.